What's up guys, so I'm, I'm Sang, so I'm here at Foreign Trade Universities. So today I'm going to interview the student here, so if you guys want to know how good the student here speak English, so let's follow me. Let's go. Uh, my name is Nguyễn Thị Minh Thư. My name is Ninh Nam Giang. So uh, in which year are you guys studying? Um, I'm freshman. Freshman? Yes, freshman wow. as well. Okay, that's cool. So in freshman you always speak English like phenomenally <laughs> well, so okay. Thank you. I appreciate you. that. Okay, my question is, what would you recommend me to do in Vietnam as I am a foreigner? What would you recommend me to do? Oh, study in Vietnam or just, just travel? Uh, I am studying in Taiping. Uh, okay. okay, I'm a medical student. Okay, so what do you think? So, I think you living in Vietnam, right? Yeah. So, so first you have to um, like go, go out and eat first because Vietnamese is like um, known f best known for his cuisines. Yeah, like, I like yeah, I have some staple like pho and banh mi. Cuisine, okay. You should try some staple ubiquitous of Vietnam, mm -hmm. like um, banh mi or pho or yeah, have, yeah. bun kha. Yeah, I have some for that. Food. Yes, and um, besides famous. that, you yes. I think you should go to like some um, uh, tourist destinations wow. uh, like right. uh, Ha Long Bay or uh, Ho Chi Minh yeah. City. Yeah. I know that Laos doesn't have like sea, right? Yeah, yes. that's true. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so a lot of Laos when they come to Vietnam, they yeah. really want to go to Ha Long yeah. Bay. And yeah, and that's cool. I know Laos has a very like a like a literal like tropical seasons and yeah. it's very hot. So if you want to try some um, like cold weather, just Where? go to Sapa in the north of Vietnam, and, wow. uh, or Dalat. Yes, yes, Dalat in the south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and try some Dalat coffee yeah. and uh, buy some flowers. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so, yeah, so I, I must like, try to do that. Okay, I must try to do that. And like, what have you listed for me? That's okay. <laughs> I want to try. So my next question, I would like to move to about your university. So my question is, why did you choose this university from your first? Uh, it sounds like a little bit funny, but I <laughs> I chose it just because like I do not have to take the exam. Oh, really? Yeah, I got it like from IELTS and some kind of certifications. Uh -huh. And I know that foreign trade university is kind of the the top university in Vietnam. So yeah. my parents also want me to have like a good label. So after your graduation, so yeah. how much salary do you look expect? For? Yeah, do you expect that? Like. I do not look at the salary for my dream jobs. Like yeah. I prefer more than something I am really into, and at the same time, uh -huh. I have like something to afford for my living. Okay. Yeah. So, do you want to work, or do you want to start your own companies? You want to run your own business? Actually, I have I haven't had like specific thoughts about uh -huh. that. Like because I'm just freshman, so okay. that's, that's a little bit cool. long term like things to do. So. What about you? Okay, okay, you guys, so let <laughs> me ask you, so what are you studying there in Netherlands, you said? I'm studying business administration. Or where? In Amsterdam? Uh, no, I'm studying in Nijmegen, uh, which know, is sorry. in the south, <laughs> uh -huh. near in the border. It is like very near to the Germany. Yeah. And it is in the border of Germany and the Netherlands. So in what year are you in there? Uh, freshman. I'm freshman as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. I'm just wow. freshman. So, like, do you go like you got a scholarship there or no? Because um, the the um, Dutch government just provides some uh, two scholarships for like ten, ten, ten per uh, ten people each uh, mm -hmm. and one of them each in the different country yeah. and uh, barely like Dutch governments will like restrict their budget yeah, and yeah. will not provide some uh, much scholarship to the students. So I go all for myself and. In addition, um, my university is very like the cheapest one in the Netherlands, really? so it's, yeah, it is quite affordable as well. So, so what's after your graduation there? So, are you going back to work here or yes, of course, staying there? Of Go course, I uh, I will uh, work in my country. 
Yeah. Because I, uh, yeah. So what do you want to do? Uh, uh, run your own business and open uh, your own running a yeah. running the business going on like entrepreneur yeah, activities is yeah. quite vague at the at the <laughs> at the first after your, the graduation. So I think I'm gonna go t- into like. Uh, I will apply into uh, different companies in Vietnam and work there for like for a very first short time to get some experiences experience. first. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. Yes. So, like, what what kind of company do you need? Like tech company or this now? You know, we like involved so the AI. You have the uh, like fintech, right? And about uh, the financial technologies. Yeah, I like love that. to work in Petro. Yeah, like, yeah. Petro, the field mm-hmm. of Petro okay. and that. oil, so that I uh, will have an. Auto- opportunity to travel a lot to some like uh, to visit some frames and uh, oil tower in the sea because you know my country is like wow. in the vicinity of seas and there are lots of chances to um, yeah to visit this visit wow. those and yeah explore something well, thank you for your time yeah I appreciate that okay have a thank good you. day okay have a good day okay yeah. thank you yeah. okay yeah uh, my name is Cha mm, so in which year are you in um, I'm a second year student in second year? Yeah. Okay, so what is your major here? Um, I'm studying international business. International business? Yeah. So, may I ask you about like how many languages do you speak? Um, well, I'm currently speaking English, which is my second language. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Vietnamese, which is my mother tongue, and mm-hmm. also I'm currently studying Japanese. Wow, that's such amazing. So, in your, like, from your point of view, so Mm, do you think what like what some benefits from speak more than one language? Some benefits. Um, I think it's of, of it's uh, obviously it will benefit you in the future when yeah. you get a job. But uh, I mean, you will be exposed to many cultures and mm-hmm. many languages, so that will help you to have the um, the interaction, the more being active yeah. with the foreign. Cultures. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. So t- this is in your second year, right? So after your graduation, so where would you like to work? Um, for the company, like private sectors, or work for the government staff? Uh, I think I like to work in the private sector more than the government sector. Yes. So like, how much salary do you need after your graduation? Mm, I think it really depends on how. Um, like how effective I, I am, yeah. I will be in the work, so mm-hmm. it, it will depend in the future. I have no idea. Okay, at the so moment. You, do you do you want to work here in Hanoi or move to the south of Vietnam, like Ho Chi Minh City? Um, well, I'm currently want to work in Hanoi because I see you from here. Yeah, yeah. This is your hometown. Yeah, this is my hometown. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay, I think that is the end for the interview and. I have to say thank you for your time. I appreciate that. Okay, enjoy your day. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Dan. Yes. Okay, so my question is... So what would you recommend me to do in Vietnam? In Vietnam? Yeah. Uh, I think the first one you have to try. Mm. And it's a, also a daily activity that you have to do that is yeah. eating, right? So yeah, eating. Vietnamese food is... Mm-hmm good and you know easy to observe for uh, yeah. foreigners and the second one is that I think you can go to some Asian places such right. as um, I mean uh, quarter streets so kind of yeah so is that you can feel the Vietnamese culture mm-hmm. and uh, you can also have a chance to interact with other local people as well Wow. Uh, foreign trade university is very famous in Vietnam. Yeah. Like since we were a student back to high school, mm-hmm. we were taught that you have to study really hard to get into here. Really. And uh, because it's not only famous for the uh, quality of the Philly city, but mm-hmm. also the uh, uh, tutors and mm-hmm. the students uh, wow. itself. Uh, because the foreign trade university student is very uh, talkative. Yeah. They're very good uh, at uh, studying and playing. And when they graduate from school, they often work for the international company. Wow! In here, like, how many, like, how many countries are the students from? Oh, uh, a lot of countries. Yeah, yeah. that's a tough question. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we have many like exchange programs. So wow. uh, we have uh, 
uh, partnership with many uh, university yeah. worldwide. Wow. So there will be many uh, students from different countries. Yes, and, you know, that's not cool, right? So including have, people just like you, like from our school, could come here. Ah, yeah. So do you have a uh, law students here? Yeah. Yes, yes. We have law students here. Maybe, too. but we can recognize that because yeah. we, look, we are Asians. <laughs> yeah. We look kind of same, just, yeah. just like uh, similar, right? So yeah. the Asian people is that you only can recognize about the European students. And like, are there any uh, European students here? Yes? Oh. Quite a lot. Really? So, which country? Well, Italy, right? Yeah, they usually come Italy. from like uh, wow. Southern America and wow. uh, Europe. Usually. That's really interesting. <laughs> so, 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 can I ask you, like, why did you choose this university? Um, oh, did it, because it was a very cool place to grow, I guess. Really? Yep. So what like what do you want to do after your graduation? Mm. For me, maybe a marketer. Marketer? Yes. Wow. And have you like anticipated about like have you expected about your salaries in the future? So how much do you need? Salary in the future? Yes. After I would say uh, like above twenty million Vietnam dong per month. Per month. Wow. Uh, so what your name first? Um, my name is Tui. Tui. Yeah. And what you? So what year are you in? Um, second year. Second year, you? Um, me too. Wow. So what is your major? Um, my major is uh, international, um, business economics. Wow. Yeah. Similar me to too, your friends. Yeah. So let me ask you about like how did you guys learn English? So your English sounds uh, phenomenally well. So how did you do that? Uh, excuse me. Uh, it means really, really good. Phenomenally well. Okay. We How just, did you learn um, English? Read a lot and listen yeah, to we just mm -hmm. practice, make perfect. Practice. Well, yeah. really, practice make perfect. Yeah, just it. But practice in the right way make you perfect. If you practice in the wrong way, so you get the wrong thing. Yeah. It's uh, hard for you to unlearn something more than to learn something else. And you, what is your method to improve I your think English? You can try two ways. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you can, uh, like entertain with yeah. the English yeah. and uh, the second thing is when you learn you can read materials about mm -hmm. uh, outside world wow. the, and it's, uh, you should read in English okay that's really cool so, okay, and I think thank you for your time I appreciate that so have a good day for today yeah. okay thank you okay thank you. thank you so what do you know about Laos Laos okay yeah. it is uh, the very uh, a close neighbor of Vietnam. Yeah. And there's a lot of Laos students studying here. Mm -hmm. and so have uh, you met uh, Laos students before? Yes, I have uh, learned uh, some same class with Laos students. Really? Yes. Is um, Mark Lenin. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, Đường Lối. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Chính Sách. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. yeah, that's cool. And I uh, have the impression that the Laos uh, student is very uh, beautiful. The ladies. Um, that is not true. Okay. <laughs> Only I, true I, I in some, some, you know, some like like uh, like Vietnam, yeah, Vietnam and Laos and every country in the world. So you have the beautiful one and the least beautiful one and the less beautiful. So yeah. that is in general. So like by and large, you can find just the normal girls in my country. So like the students who are being here is not the normal student like just imagine so uh, the, the student like a uh, Vietnamese student who are studying abroad so like study in America in Japan so they are not just like um, in general yeah not 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 in the normal students they are maybe their father is the CEO <laughs> of the company or like okay, okay. the high position okay, in the country so that's that's why they are looks um, absolutely stunning okay, <laughs> okay uh, and 